that's a fact. That's Morris. No more room in hell. The dead will walk here. Welcome, everyone, to Three Corners of Horror. I am Joe, the psychologist. And tonight, we are down one. Our brother Ricky Grimes, he's sick. Get better. See you next week. But tonight, obviously, he calls him El Jefe. I call him my baby brother. <laughs> JR, what's up? You ready for a, a shark one? Oh, you know it's a shark one. We have Angel with us. And, <laughs> well, you know, this is going to be an interesting one because of the location. And, I don't know, did this one swim good or just, I don't know, sunk to the bottom like the shells in the movie? Ooh. And as he said tonight, joining us from Voices from the Mausoleum is the lovely Angel, who he said also loves shark movies. Angel, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is probably one of the most, I know it's going to sound insane, but probably one of the most anticipated movies for the year. Like I was, when I first saw the, the poster for this initially, I was like, Ugh. so super excited to talk about it. All right. I'm not going to lie. I checked to see if I had popcorn so I can pop because if you guys watch our channel, you know, JR loves found footage. If you go to Voices from the Mausoleum, Angel loves found footage. They also love shark movies. <laughs> and JR hates some of Angel's favorites. Angel <laughs> hates some of JR's favorites. So I was like, I need some fucking popcorn for the show tonight because I'm just going to sit here and watch and see. Are they going to be kumbaya or, you know, are Is they going to be going be at each other? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And as we said, tonight we're going to be talking. And tonight we'll be talking about the movie Under Paris 2024, streaming on Netflix. It is directed by Xavier Jens, written by Yannick Dehan, Maud Haywang, and Xavier Jens. Starring Berenice Bejo as Sophia, Nassim Lies as Adil, and Lea Leviant as Micah. So at the start of the movie, we are introduced to Sophia, who is with her research team. Now, they're environmentalists, but they've also been studying sharks, Mako sharks to be specific. And they're looking for Lilith, one who they had tagged and, you know, First of all, that underwater thing, like if that's really real, how it looks like that, that's it's horrible. Uh, yeah. Sidetrack. But they look for Lilith. And when they find Lilith, they said she's much bigger and she basically eats up her whole entire team. Three years later, obviously from the trauma, she's still doing her research work. Not the same way. She works at an aquarium. And here she meets Micah, who lets her know that she found Lilith. And Lilith, it is a very strange place because sharks generally are in the ocean, salt water. And mm -hmm. I, I think, what, was Shark Week one of the ones where they went into the river? Or wasn't there one movie that they, there was, they actually went oh, into the shark river? Week. Shark Week. I mean, Shark Night, Shark Night, I'm sorry. Shark shark, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, Shark Night, it was the river. So now we have one in a very, it actually combines two locations. You have the River Cien and you have the catacombs, you know, and JR, you had done, you know, um, as above, so below, which cover the catacombs. I had no idea just how deep these catacombs went. And I meant to research that before we did this. But um, I guess the first question I want to ask you guys was obviously the location for this movie because it's very centralized. So what did you think of, you know, using the Cien and then going under Paris, literally the title of the movie, to the catacombs as far as where the sharks had now basically found their way. Angel, I'm going to go to you first. Okay. Um, yeah. I, first of all, I think one thing that is incredibly difficult to do with a shark movie is do something different. There's so many variations of, of shark movies from sick sharks to zombie sharks to, I mean, like crazy Sharknado. stuff. Right? And I think that like that was so I don't think at least I don't feel like from what I remember in the trailer or anything, they gave away the catacombs part. So I think you could probably deduce it right. Like it's probably not meant to necessarily be like a huge shocker, but I wasn't thinking catacombs initially going into it. And so I was like, OK, like, first of all, 
like I knew that wasn't the ocean, like they're not supposed to be in the area. Right. And so, but when they got to the section of the movie where it talked about them being in the catacombs, I was like immediately hooked. The catacombs is like a bucket list visit thing for me. I'm dying to go. I love as above so below. That's one of my favorite found footage movies. Like it's such a sad, terrifying reality for Paris. And so it's, it was really such I mean, my first initial thought was, oh, my God, this is really fucking cool. This is different. Immediately you get points for creativity because now I'm like, well, now I'm intrigued. Like to what to what end are they in there and why are there so many? And like you start asking all these questions and trying to figure stuff out. And and it's beautifully shot as far as the parts of it that you see, like it blew me away. And it just it, it elevated it, in my opinion, as a shark movie, I thought. Nice. JR? No, surprisingly, I agree. Oh. oh no! My popcorn's <laughs> flat. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I mean it. It was a it was an interesting choice too because you were wondering how far they were going to go as far as where the shark was going to be, and the fact that you know they they kept its location heading in the catacombs mm-hmm. added more to it because the fact that now they have to go into this area in order to flush it out, which I thought was real interesting because I mean when you watch as above so below. And anything with the catacombs, it's always once you enter, can you find your way out? Yeah. So, you know, tight. even though, yeah, yeah, it's Dark. tight, claustrophobic, you know, just yeah. bones all over the place. Um, and yeah, I, I kind of thought it was very creative the way they did it. I, I wasn't sure how they were going to pull it off. And the fact that they added more lore to the catacombs now, because, you know, you never thought that deep and being the fact that it was submerged underwater mm-hmm. was, was even more, you know, creative to that but yeah i mean it was interesting because like i, I didn't know where they were going with it you know i was like all right so you know you got a shark going up and down the, you know, the, the river system and eventually somebody's gonna catch it even like what i gave credit to even like the the, the times that you, the shark's there but you have to look at the you know behind the person see the fin like that it, yeah i like the fact that you know his presence was there mm-hmm. even though she had i'm gonna call it the alien tracker that's what <laughs> every time I was paying. <laughs> it did. Yeah. 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 So I mean, I, I, I liked it, all those aspects because even yeah. when she knew it was near, she didn't realize it was underneath her going through the catacombs, which yeah, is very interesting um environment for it. And yeah, definitely looking forward to seeing uh what else Angel thinks of this film. So for me, the river part, because when you're in the ocean, generally the ocean's a lot clearer. So you're able yeah. to see the sharks coming at you. I like that, even though that Micah was that flashlight, that it did shit. It, it, there's nothing, it added to the more terror of it because you truly couldn't see it coming. No. In the ocean, you know, you'll see it coming. You might still be fucked, but in that situation, you couldn't see nothing. And I liked how it was done that way. They never made the, except for the area that got cleared out, which, you know, I'm sure we'll talk about it later, but the river the catacombs I, I honestly if i i didn't research i don't know if you guys know i i, I didn't know they were that deep i didn't know it's that far below paris and i'd be scared to live in paris like that shit might sink in with all this stuff down there yeah but as a angel, as you said angel it it, it it freshened up the shark movie yeah because I love shark movies also i mean probably not as much as you guys i like the old school stuff you know the new stuff <laughs> yeah. You know, the new stuff, it's hit or miss, even though I'm a huge Sharknado fan and oh, all shark man. people hate those movies. I love those. Do you? Oh, okay. But They're see, so fun. Yeah. I'd love yeah. them. And that was the whole part is because they were fun. They're fun. Yeah. This 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 movie was fun too, but the settings yeah. was awesome. As you said, beautifully shot. Um, yeah. you know, one of my favorite scenes was when they lit the flare. And then you saw the pod over them. That's that's an homage to 47. That is an homage to 47 meters. Like that that red flare thing, like that's that hit me right in the shark field because I was like, yes, more red flare underwater sh- shots with sharks, please. Because it's so scary. It's so sinister. Oh, I love it. So good. The, whole, the whole movie had little, you know, homage to a lot of uh, the shark. A lot it, of the, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of the shark movies. A lot of yeah. the, even when the, when, when, when her fin came up slowly and then went down, that was Jaws. Jaws. You know, they're, they're, they, they, he, Xavier made sure to put in the nods to, the a lot of shark respect movies and love. that everybody oh, loves. Oh yeah, 
You had the yellow buoys on the net. Jaws. Jaws. <laughs> a lot. There was a lot of Jaws ones. Um, I remember, I can't think of which part it is, but I remember specifically there being something that made me think of Deep Blue Sea, maybe the science element. The science no, element. Made the me science element and that too. scene where she's she's uh, swimming to the you know the surface in the beginning where she gets tangled up in the net. Yes, yes, yes. It's that like the ending of yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, lots of lots of shark love in the in the film for sure. Well, speaking of shark love, I mean, obviously the reason we watch shark movies is to see how they're going to eat up everybody along the way. <laughs> and I, th there was a lot of uh, for me, as you said. It was a lot of inventive new ways done in this. I'm going to go to JR first. Let's take a bite into the shark kills and the carnage in this movie. Well, first of all, one of the clever things they did is they stood away from the great white and went with a Mako-like shark. <clears throat> Which, if you don't know, Makos are one of the fastest sharks in the ocean. Yeah. Deep Blue Sea was a Mako. They are no joke, yes. Deep blue so sea was there's your homage to Deep Blue Sea a little bit, you know. Yeah, you so shirt. good. I love that part. Yeah, I said that. I was like, yay, no great whites. No great I was whites. so excited. So, yeah, I mean, the, the kills were good. I mean, I mean, well, I'm sure the catacombs is probably one of the best scenes as far as pure carnage goes, you know. And the fact that, you know, what I liked about it is they kept the aspect of the shark frenzy. So every time one person got attacked, it became a frenzy. Yeah. yeah. Which it wasn't just one attack. You know, one shark attacking, you know, one person, they kept it once buzz in the water, they all they all attack. So I, I liked that. I mean, it, it it was very I mean, Mika, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> this girl's dumb as shit. Yeah, she was. <laughs> but I understood what she was doing. She was like the Greta of uh this movie. You yeah, know, that's all I thought about. <laughs> but it's just like um, you know, her death was once again the blue sea when they go into the elevator. Same thing, which I liked it that. I, I'm not, I'm not going to hate that because again, there's there's there, there's a difference between copying and paying an homage. Yes. Yeah, for sure. No, this was done. It had its own things with those pieces in it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and I would say, I, mean, I just got to say this: if there was one small knock I would have on this film, is I wanted more Lilith. I wanted more of the Lilith. I mean. I, Part of me, and I, I don't know if Angel will agree with this, part of me wanted a little bit of the found footage aspect of this, like a camera attached to her or something. So you get a different kind of view of the carnage. Because, I mean, oh, yeah. you know, she already had one tag. It would have been cool. It's like, all right, you know, they put a camera on her basically to try to track exactly where she's in the catacombs. You know, it would add a little bit more to the story. But, I mean, the beginning sequence I thought was pretty cool. Just the fact that she fucked them all up. And these are supposedly like shark experts in. I'm saying, yeah. Like, Why are you touching this shark? I mean, Ocean Ramsey, I give you a ton of respect in the world for what you do. But these guys were just fucking dumb. <laughs> what they were doing, you know. But yeah, a lot of the kills were good. I like the blood of it. I I kind of wanted a little bit slight more when it came to the when they're doing the triathlon, like unleash all of them. Yeah. We saw but, pretty much all of that in the yeah. trailer. Yeah, and then you know the. You know, the, the little bit, you know, escaping was kind of like a, like a like a video game a little bit. I know there's a game that you can play the great white. You just, <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm sidetracking. But yeah, all the, the 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 shark attacks I thought were pretty good. I don't want to take too much of the kills and stuff, but yeah, I mean, it was well done. They were all pretty cool homages. Um, I liked the the fact that the blood stood lingering in the water. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of movies, the blood dissipates pretty goes away. Yeah, this one it really lingered to the point where when they're escaping the catacombs, the blood's just following them right straight through. But yeah, I mean, great kills. I mean, a lot of homages and a lot of different ways of the way they were attacking people. Angel, my darling, you're next. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I, I pretty much agree with all of that. I think the I liked um I really loved that this was a different shark. I think it brought in different facts about sharks because I think. One thing is like when people watch the fun shark movies is you kind of just ignore the rules because it's just meant to be fun. But even though this is technically like a science fiction kind of like made up story about sharks, 
it did incorporate some real facts about the type of shark that was included, which I love. Like I get, not that gray whites aren't scary. They're terrifying, but it's so are other sharks. And I yeah. love that they, they took it and went with it. I think the beginning kills are very um, 47 meters down and caged with the, they're all underwater. They don't know where it is. And then it just like comes in and just zip, zip, zip and like takes them out. That shot, and we got to see this in the trailer, and there were teaser images of this, but the image where Lilith and is it Sophia? Is that her name? The yeah. yeah. When they're underwater facing each other, that is the most incredible shot in a shark movie I think I've ever seen. It's gorgeous. Like mm -hmm. it's menacing, it's uncomfortable. You're waiting, you're like, okay, well, it's only like five minutes into the movie. So <laughs> surely she's not gonna kill her, but and then she just like swims. That was insane. I love the way that looked. Um, and yeah, obviously. The scene um, where they're all in the circle section and they all start like slowly and kind of to piggyback off of what JR said, the pacing for people falling in the water felt realistic, but worked for the sake of not feeling too over the top. Like wow. it felt like these people were falling in a realistic way, but they were also getting eaten in a realistic pattern or timeline. So it didn't feel like that was absolutely impossible. Um, and yeah, I, I love that scene. I, I think I kind of got this whole thing with like the, the other girl, Mika or Micah, whatever her name is, like, you know, she's very much the, like the, the save the animals or whatever. Right. And then you've got Sophia, who's the more grounded version of that, where she's like, we want to protect, we want to learn, we want to know more, but this is not how you do that. There is a, you still have to respect the fact that this is a wild ass animal and it will turn on you and can kill you and hurt you. And then what can you do? Right. And I loved that. Like, I love that there was that balance of like, yeah, this is what you think people who care about animals are like, but here's what they're actually like. I really like the contrast. I just wanted to note that. But yeah, I think I, I love the kills in this. I love the scenes when they're getting ready to do the explosives and you see like all of the other sharks and you're just like, oh, like, and then they, they get that one guy, I forget his name, but they get the one guy who's like, I'm going to go get it anyway. And he goes out and he gets, and you're like, no, like you wanted him to survive. I don't know. They did a really good job with the, with the kills in this. And, and I agree. I loved how gross the water looked because so often you're exactly right. It just, suddenly it's just clean. Like nothing ever happened. It's, it was very murky and gross when they were in it. And I think that just added to the reality that was the deaths that we just saw. Well, I'm going to agree because, um, especially. Jared used the right word, the frenzy, especially yeah. when they were in the catacombs. The microphones were still on, and you heard the person slowly die. Ooh, yeah, that, that was easy. eaten alive. Never yeah. experienced that in a shark movie. You hear yeah. them screaming, you know, and they're going through the water. Yeah. But you did not, and you know, and you, I want to say, wasn't it two people that died on, under there? Yeah, it was two that died under there. You heard both their deaths. Oh, and the part when they're trying to do the explosives. The explosives, yeah. yeah. I can't remember the name of uh, Nils, and I can't remember the name of the other one. Yeah, there's but, two people, I think, yeah. Yeah, so, but to hear, like, you know, because they're all mic'd, and you're yeah. hearing your friend getting eaten alive by sharks, you're hearing that. And I thought that was kind of something new, not done. I thought it was yeah. awesome. I did not see the trailers for this movie. Oh. So I saw no shots and agree when Sophia's in the water and they're showing you the contrast of the size, the human size and the shark. I thought that was an awesome shot, Oof. you know, and yeah. it kind of was like, I kind of felt it was more like Lilith going, I'll see you again. <laughs> she took off <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because she technically did see her again. Yeah. You know, um, that's true. Yeah, but it, it was the, the when they go with Micah to try to get it out. Oh, you, that would felt real, as you said, Angel, because you had mm -hmm. all these people who and again, you it, it just shows you people. They get this message. Let's show up over here. Let's do this. And then now you're stuck in a situation. You know, Ben's how Ben died. Ben died because people she kept trying to get out and people just kept pushing oh, her under, so and then her head hit. And, you know, so she's halfway drowning and then gets knocked unconscious, you know, at the end, the other girl that when they're through the hallway, 
like it showed you know it wasn't just the sharks itself killing but it's just the fact mm-hmm. that they all instead of helping each other out it's one man for themselves and just trampling and each other. yeah and, and that's anything that has to do with like mass panic that trampling thing is like that's a very real thing that really it, happens to people it's crazy well it's fight or flight and right when it, when it kicks in it sometimes involves you running over people, unfortunately. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to fight no shark. <laughs> well, no. You know. I'm to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and I'm agreed, you know, the, Micah, the, Micah annoyed me. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I get the, you know, wanting to, uh, I'm actually been holding it. I'll say it right at the end because JR said something. There, there's one thing about this movie that I'm going to give it a knock. I'll, I'll say it in my closing thoughts. And since I mentioned the closing thoughts, we'll just go ahead and jump right into that. So, JR, I'm going to go to you first. You know, your rate on this movie, closing thoughts. Um, I'll be honest, I, I we didn't want no expectations because mm-hmm. Angel knows with every shark movie, it's just you have to go in with no expectations whatsoever. Yeah. You know, and I went into this one. I like the fact that, the, you know, we, we keep beating on the head that there were so many homages to mm-hmm. many of the shark films we like, like the scene with Sophia and Lilith. I mean, if Deep Blue Sea, before the doctor, you know, jumps in the water, slits her wrist, and you know, yep. starts just looking at her and attacks her. And, you know, they yep. they did a good job of setting up for a sequel, because you know it's going to be a sequel. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then the way the movie ended, I got a little bit of The Shallows, where they're yeah. basically stuck in On that, that one, one little spot thing. with the shark rotating around it. The, I mean, because they, they they left you they, with so many questions. The fact that this is a new breed of shark that they never seen before. You know, the first thing I thought when I'm wa- watching this was, all right, did Sophia tamper with genetics in order to create the yeah. shark? Because that's that's the first thing you started yeah. thinking. She's definitely hiding something. Yeah, there's she more. There's about? more there. Yeah. Um, the kills were good. There were still a couple of things that I I kind of was scratching my head as I'm watching this, like. For example, when after they escaped the catacombs, after the Lilith knocked the boat, these two are still swimming in the water to get to where the triathlon is going when the whole time they could have just swam to the side and ran, you know, oh. on the I side. I thought the same I mean, thing, it's, too. It's nitpicking, but I'm saying, like, hold up. It's this a is, nitpick. It's you a you nitpick, know there's a but... shark in the water. You're right. swimming to the triathlon. You're not going to make it in time. Just go on the freaking yeah. go up and, and just run over there. Um, yeah. I... Do like the fact that once again, Jaws, where you have this big event happening, mm-hmm. the mayor of the town doesn't want to, you know, there's he knows there's a shark, doesn't want to change. Anything. Huge Jaws reference, yeah. Yes, and the, but yeah. the fact that they didn't have her linger as an antagonist in the film, she played her role. So it's just felt like every character in here played this role, but for me, I still wanted more Lilith. There's something about experiencing from the shark's point of view like the catacomb scene i like a lot the thing i wish they would have did a little bit more with it is imagine if people fall in the water and since everybody's on their phone the last shots you get are basically sharks coming at them so now you have all these phones with the last recordings yeah. of people getting killed which just adds more to it but i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a three and a half um it's a fun film you know it has a couple things that you can knock on it but the fact that I went in with no expectations, I think it fulfilled, you know, my love for sharks because once again, the Mako shark, different shark. They open up this whole different world. And the fact that at the end, the sharks won, which is pretty cool for me. But yeah, three and a half. All right. Angel. Um, yeah, I I I'm always like super pumped to have like a serious shark movie because I, I like the fun ones. You know, like I don't mind them, but the ones that actually try to make you uncomfortable are really the ones that I'm, I am I really want more of because I just don't think we have that many of those. I think there's very few serious shark movies. Um, and so, you know, I felt like this had some of that like science fiction stuff where it was like a little far fetched, but I think that they approached it in a way that made it believable, even 
just in a stand of, of it being fiction. Like, you know, when they have that one shark that they pull up and it's got like blood coming out of different parts of its bodies because it's readjusting to the water. I'm like, okay, well, at least they gave us an opportunity to see that this wasn't just some seamless transition, right? Like there was, there's things physically happening to the sharks as they're moving from the saltwater to the freshwater. I really liked that. I thought that was like such a small detail, but it added a little bit more believability to the sci-fi part of it. Um, I thought, I mean, direct, like as far as this being the way it's directed and the way that it's shot, it's an absolutely beautiful film. That alone is a five out of five for me. I thought beautifully shot. Um, and the, you know, the guy that did this did uh, Frontiers, which is so also David incredibly Chance. shot, but in a it's very different, is awesome. different way. Yeah. And so like, um, I, I really thought, you know, I think my, honestly, my only knock is probably similar to what JR said is I think that this had enough shark that I wasn't disappointed or pissed off, but if it had had more, I think it would have been even better because the sharks are definitely the focal point, but some of the focal point is talking about sharks, not seeing sharks. And with there being so many in the water, you know, we really only get glimpses for a short period of time. Um, if they do a sequel, I'm hoping that means that we'll just get a lot more because I mean, there's, you know, the CGI when I think it's Lilith that eats Mika or whatever, when she, that jumps, that's a little silly looking, but other than that, I thought this looked really, really good and, um, love that it was a Mako. I thought the, you know, the acting and stuff was fine. I cared about the core characters a lot. Yeah. Um, I was worried about them. I love shark apocalypse at the end. That was the, one of the best endings to a shark movie I've ever seen. I loved that so much. Um, and it's not perfect, but it's definitely up there for me. Um, as far as what my, my standards are for shark movies. Um, so I would give this a four. Shit, of course you said that as I was taking my step. A four out of five. I can, I can <laughs> ramble a little bit longer. If you want to be. But yeah, I would give it, I would give it a four out of five. All right. Mm -hmm. Um I'm I'm gonna give my score first. I'm also gonna give it a four. Um the movie was fun. Mm -hmm. And I went in honestly, even though it's Xavier Jens, mm -hmm. you know, shark movies, it they're just so hard to do. Really good shark movies. So you go in with these low expectations and all of a sudden you're like halfway through, like, I'm really liking this. Like Adam said, we have to rewatch this again, but can we watch it French and we'll do the subtitles for you? Cause he can understand French. He took French. He can understand it and speak it uh -huh. well, but it's the same way when you listen to it in the, in the actual language, you get the actual emotions. Like if you listen it's to different. it, it's different. Like if you watch a Spanish movie, and yeah. trust me, they don't match, <laughs> even the no. most captioning. But so I I, I, I love the movie. Mm -hmm. My one critique, and as I'm watching it, I kept my phone down up until one point when I realized that the movie was talking about climate change. And so I messaged Rick separately. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? And I said that I sent a gift going like this. I'm like, climate change. And he's like your favorite thing, and you know I'm I, I harp on it, and I don't want to be ad nauseum about it, but it was not done in a way where it annoyed me. You know, Jared made the comment that Michael was Greta. That's actually a good way to put it. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was but like I like I, when he said Greta, I'm like, it's fucking Greta. But that was my only knock. I, like I was, I was like, you know, I wanted I. It was all fun, but there was still a little message in there. At least the message yeah. wasn't shoved down my throat. No. Now, could be that Lilith and the Makos, because of all the pollution and all the stuff that's now under there, had genetically affected them. Because, you know, it's all science. Because they all were like, how did she get so big? And, you know, in Deep Blue Sea, which is why they brought the Mako, Deep Blue Sea, the reason they used that specific shark was the, the the genetics of that shark? Yeah. So I, I as soon as I said Mako, I'm like, oh yay, Deep Blue Sea, because again, I'm a Jaws fan. Yeah. As Angel said, thank God it's not a great white. They mm -hmm. are Mako. It, it did remind me of Deep Blue Sea, but I yeah. didn't. I didn't do a comparison. There's a difference when yeah. if a movie reminds you of it and you're like, you just copied it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do that. It, no. it, it just it would they use they use the right shark. They use a fast mm -hmm. shark, a shark that obviously scientifically 
in another movie was shown to be far superior than the great white. So yeah, I did. I, I when the movie ended, I was happy. Yeah, not happy that all the sharks won. You know, I'm a pre JR. I, I will say, the other little slight knock was like, did Lily figure out that there were bombs all at the bottom? And let me just swat <laughs> all these bombs, <laughs> blow it all up to get my kids out. <laughs> because that's the other part. It was they're, they're supposedly all her kids, and they're w- wondering how did she pop out? Like literally. So she's unless unless she popped out kids and their kids popped out more, yeah. and they're going that fast. Which, hopefully, if we get the second one, I will say I did because yeah. when I was trying to look up a couple things up, especially for the like the names of the um, um, actors and mm-hmm. all that. Yeah, I thought the ending shot was just Paris. A couple of things that I read was New York. Like they showed shots of different countries no. with the shark. They did it right. I no. thought so. I yeah, I'm like, I did not. I, I was like, I thought it was just Paris. It was just remember. Paris. They just showed the different areas because it ended with the Eiffel Tower. It zoomed Tom. out. It just yeah. zoomed up, right? And then yeah. you could mm-hmm. see like all of the where all of all it right. had flooded. I, I just wanted. I, I didn't. I'm like, I'm not. I didn't want to put the movie on to yeah. check that. So I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm have. I'm gonna be talking to. Two yeah, I don't think so. The same movie. Yeah. So somebody wrote up an article. So see, when you write up an article about a movie, make sure you're correct about your information. <laughs> Whoever wrote up that article. All right. Any more little last thoughts here, guys? I can't believe no. this. I was hoping that it was going to be carnage between you two. I was hoping you both love the movie. I was like, <laughs> but you know what? It's a good thing. We all love the movie. So, yeah, yeah. No, it was well, a good film. I mean, you you kind of you you looking forward to the rest of it. And you know, to answer your question, remember when they took that shark and they were doing an autopsy? They cut it open. It was it was pregnant. So all those it sharks that were. Went. All the sharks that were running around are all pregnant. Ah, see, I kind of missed. I say I missed. Well, yeah, again, because, I'll, I'll I'll pick that yeah. up when I rewatch it again. Yeah, it also I mean, showed different size sharks. When it did yeah. that scene where you could see them all above them, they were different sizes. They weren't all the same size. And that's why I gave this movie credit over Deep Blue Sea. Sorry, because <laughs> the shark Sorry. actually kept <laughs> growing know, and looked bigger. Where in Deep Blue Sea, they kept shrinking. So. <laughs> that's a, that's a, so they he, did, he did bring that up when we they kept about shrinking. <laughs> did. We'll, see. well, yeah, he because started they, out so big. Yes, and somehow they were able to get through the tunnels. Going to the hallways. And, yeah, in hallways. <laughs> so yeah, I know. He did bring up a really, really good point on that one. Yeah. Um all right. Well, I was hoping that it was gonna be a bite between you two though. But it was a good talk. Um, so guys, again. <laughs> It is available to stream on Netflix and um, make sure to come back next week. We will be discussing the first omen. Angel will be joining us. JR will not be here next week. You know, he's got some things going on, getting some things fixed. You know, fingers crossed that Ricky Grimes will be feeling better and Radar DeBoer joining us next week. So make sure to tune in. So until next time, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow for updates. Make sure to check out Voices from the Mausoleum. Again, you have two people here who have great points of views on sharks and found footage. And I was really hoping they were just going to go at each other, man. Thank God I didn't pop my popcorn. So until next time, ta-ta for now. Chum didn't work.